We are seeing our rate of COVID vaccinations slowing down in Georgia and globally only 68% of adults say they would get vaccinated. That's according to a new Gallup poll that was just released. So how could that impact our ability to ever get to herd immunity? Naima Abdullahi takes a closer look. 300,000 adults surveyed in more than 110 countries all asked about the COVID-19 vaccines and how the virus has impacted their livelihoods. 68% of adults worldwide stating that they would get the vaccine if it was available and didn't cost them anything. But medical experts have said 70 to 90% is needed to meet the herd immunity requirement. My first question is for people who may not understand what is herd immunity? The concept of herd immunity is that there is enough immu immunity in a community where a virus really can't spread too much and people are protected. 11 Alive medical correspondent Dr. Sujatha Reddy breaks down the pathways of reaching herd immunity. Herd immunity counts people that have been infected with the virus and naturally recovered and people who got the vaccine and have antibodies from that. So it's th those two groups together, which gives us herd immunity. More than 105 million people in the U.S. are now fully vaccinated, but vaccine hesitancy is still a major factor. And how exactly does vaccine hesitancy play into herd immunity? So if we have a large percent of the population that isn't willing to get vaccinated, it's probably going to be very difficult to get to those numbers. So that's where vaccine hesitancy comes in. This data also brings up questions about what the end of the pandemic could look like. Now, it's hard to say something's an end game except for eradication, like eliminating the virus, kind of like what we felt we did with smallpox several decades ago. So eradication would definitely be the end game. Now that the Johnson & Johnson vaccine is an option again, Dr. Reddy says it could help with the hesitancy. I think a single shot vaccine like J&J &J does help achieve herd immunity because you, you know, don't have that second appointment and sometimes people are fearful or too busy to get that second vaccine. All right, Dr. Reddy and Naima, thank you both for the advice. The DeKalb Board of Health closed all of its offices, coronavirus testing sites and vaccination sites because of the rain today. Administrative offices and health centers are going to reopen tomorrow morning at 815. But because we're expecting more rain tomorrow, just stick with us because there could be more changes and we'll certainly let you know here on the air also on 11alive.com. Again, we'll let you know as those changes happen because we've got a couple more stormy days ahead.